who came up with uh, most of the shtick, you know, the, um, you know, Morris's really cool persona. I mean, did that mostly come from Prince? And how much was that sort of like the real Morris day? Oh, there's a lot of the real Morris in there, you know, and it, but it's, it, it's interesting because it didn't, it didn't, it wasn't a concept. It wasn't a, here's what we're going to do. It, it just sort of, this whole band just kind of sort of organically grew out of a vision and and we stepped into it but we also took it to another place i think and morris is hilarious prince is hilarious some of the guys in the band are hilarious and things would just start getting bantered about and one thing led to another and this, this the whole ship started. It's, it, it was very natural, particularly between Morris and Prince, to to riff on this whole this whole cool business and the whole thing. But I th I think it worked so well because it, there was always a, it was serious, but yet there was a tongue in cheekness to it as well. You know, I think if somebody was dead serious, it would have been yeah, whatever. You know. Um, People found it entertaining, and it's and it worked. You know, at the time they're very different, but at the time, I remember thinking, you know what, this Morris persona and this character and this whole thing they're doing is the coolest thing in R&B since Bootsy. You know, that Bootsy was this really charismatic front guy that was so cool, but he'd take himself seriously, and Morris Day too was just so cool and didn't take himself seriously and had that charisma on stage and the band too was you know the rubber band bootsy's band was so tight and the time also so tight and to me it just seemed like that was like the new version of this but different and i think you know of course if the time hadn't splintered would have been so huge i think throughout the whole 80s yeah yeah it's a shame it did fall apart but I, you know there was a lot of internal problems and a lot of Things going on, which I guess didn't allow it to happen from many fronts, but um, yeah, I just like the way it, it all came together because you, know, you didn't, you know, Morris was Morris was hesitant to go up front at first because he he sang stuff in the local band, some you know, but he he didn't see him as a lead himself as a lead singer, and so we're all kind of going, okay, how's this going to work? You know, because he could sing fine, but how is this all going to work? We didn't know, and it just it all just evolved and it was, i i think that's what of its credibility to it but because it wasn't a concept it wasn't a throwing a boy band together it wasn't a you know nothing against you know that all that whole scene too but i mean this thing just happened out of nowhere it just became what it was what about like the the dance steps and things like that you know who kind of choreographed and organized that uh I didn't, <laughs> but most everybody else had ideas. And Jerome, in particular, was really good with. with uh, he wasn't on board fully right away, but as he got going, he was more involved with that. As, um, but a lot of it was was the whole concept was to keep to keep something entertaining going on the stage at all times. So if Morris was over here with Terry playing, then somebody's over here doing something else. So, so that people are always looking at something, you, your eyes always getting drawn to something in some form or another. And so there's a lot of emphasis put on that to entertain. Um, but it, it was really organic. I mean, somebody would say, okay, how, where do, how are we gonna step on this part? And, Somebody or another would just go, well, how about we do this? Or let's do this. And there'd be some laughing and be whatever. And then, all right, let's do that. And then we'd start doing it. And it would, a lot of it was just taking old, old dances, which I never knew about because I'm not of that ilk, but, and really just repurposing them into some, some, something. They're usually simple things because we, we wanted to try to do things where the whole stage could move at the same time, you know, especially with me and Jan on keyboards, to, uh, so that, you know, we're playing two parts, we're singing, and we're doing steps. So 
you know, we were limited somewhat in, in as far as how much we could do uh, movement wise. Um, and we wanted, at least in certain things, everybody to be able to do, like the walk, what we're doing with the walk, or stuff like that, where it's, um, we just made it work so that the whole stage of music we could. Um, 